Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. In this video, I'm going to show a simple trick that you can use to determine whether the rear wheel of your bike uses either a freewheel or a cassette. So there are two common styles of rear sprocket systems on bicycle wheels. This wheel has what's called the free hub and cassette type of system, which is typically found on newer and higher end bicycles. This wheel has what's called a free hub type of system, which is typically found on older and lower end bicycles. A common trait that both these systems share is that if you look on the inside of the smallest sprocket, you should see either splines or notches. This one has splines, this one does too, this one also has splines, but they're smaller. This one on the other hand has notches, and there's four of them, and here's an example of one which has two notches. Whichever style yours has, the trick is to spin the sprockets counterclockwise like this, and watch to see if the splines or notches rotate too when you do that. If you do see the splines or notches moving like on this wheel, then you have a free hub and cassette system. However, if you see them stay stationary, like I'm seeing on this wheel, then you have a freewheel system. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On some bicycles, including this one, it's not easy to see the splines or notches while the wheel is still on the bike, so you'll need to first remove the wheel before you can do this check. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, I have a video that I've linked in the description below which will teach you everything that you need to know. So hopefully this trick will help you to determine which of these two systems your bike uses. If you'd like to take things a step further though and learn how to remove and reinstall the rear sprockets from a bicycle wheel, I have separate videos demonstrating the procedure for both a free wheel and a cassette. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.